on this Easter Sunday for the series finale between the fourth ranked Tennessee Lady Volunteers and the Auburn Tigers. The Lady Vols today are going for the series sweep here on the Plains. One two pitch coming to Malloy. Chased after it. It's a swing and a miss strikeout. That's the first out of the inning. Matter here for Tennessee. As Pooney pops this one up in the air at second base. Annabelle Weedra makes the catch. Now playing for the Lady Vols. 2-0 and caught at short by Nelia Peralta. And just like that, Auburn with a brief shutdown inning. Now playing for Auburn. Getting the start at third base today. And this pitch in on the hands. And Anna Wohlers will start to make her way down to first. We As McCreary will lay down a bunt, it gets past the pitcher Pickens and everybody's gonna be safe. Terrific job from KK McCreary. It was pretty cool. Nothing in two to Auburn center fielder. There's a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, Carlin Pickens comes right back. Scoreboard. Pickens might be throwing it too fast. And there is a ball, it's a four pitch walk. Tanelia Peralta, and the bases are loaded. Okay. Yeah, nine home runs a season ago. Good feeling to hit the first one yesterday. Trasvik, a hard hit ball to short. It's off the glove of Mueller. One run will score. Auburn's going to try to score two. The throw to the plate is late as KK is underneath the tag. And it's 2-0 Auburn in the first year and you see what happens when you put it in play I mean that that ball should be fielded absolute chance to even maybe turn a double play and get out of this inning but then look at the base running slide behind in the count no balls and two strikes check swing back to the circle and Pickens will get the lead runner over at third smart play by Carlin Pickens off the top of the wall kept in play a good hit for the Tigers as she'll put this one in play. And at third, Gibson's got it. And her throw to first brings the inning to a close. But Auburn strikes first. The Tigers with a 2-0 lead. Out to short and on the run. Nelia Peralta makes the catch to put it away. Second put out of the game from the Auburn short. You know, I'm really excited to watch this game today. A chance for Weidra at third, and there's the second out of the inning. But the couple weekends coming up. Payoff pitch misses outside, and it's a walk, the first base runner of the day for Tennessee. 1-1. One, one. Popped up in the air, out in foul territory. How about the sliding grab from Nelia Peralta? What a play from the Auburn shortstop to bring. Payoff pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Gibson's got it in the throw. A little high, but able to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now playing third base. Hits one right back to Pickens, who makes the play in a strong throw over to first. Pitch it, field it, get the out. Full count with two outs. And one hit right back to Pickens. Look at the range for the Tennessee pitcher to get the second out. But even as a lefty, not afraid to put her behind the plate, that catcher, as we saw in yesterday's game. This one hit to short. Peralta can't quite get over there, so runner will be safe at first. This one bounces in the dirt and taking off towards second is Kotsoinopoulos. Out of the inning. Here's a grounder to third. Weidro looks the runner back, and Kotsoinopoulos has to stay put. Get the out over at first. That is exactly as this one gets past Aubrey Lizenby on the check swing, and now Kotsoinopoulos will take third. A 
Bunt attempt, and Kotsoyanopoulos will dive back into third. Nearly ran into an out right there as Malloy. Payoff pitch, swing and a miss, a big strikeout for Matty Pinta. It's the second out of the inning. Huge strike with two outs here in the third. Hooney pops this one up to center field. Michaela Packer makes the catch, and the inning is over. Tennessee gets a runner over to third, but no runs to show for as for Auburn senior left fielder. A one two, ball hit over to third. Gibson able to throw to first for the out. One down here in the inning. Since Auburn took that two nothing lead. Make it six in a row on the ground out to second. Need a few more players offensively. A full count with two outs. And there's a walk. Second time today, Peralta's been given the free pass. Tresvik, a slow roller to first. Now it's a foot race to the bag as Tresvik dives at the first base bag. And that is the third and final out of the inning. Watching film constantly, thinking about different ways to improve her game. And the same goes throughout the course of a series. So here's a single back up the middle by McKenna Gibson. We'll see if. Swing and a miss, a strikeout for Pinta. As she fans Riley West for the first out. It's weekly coaching in the dugout over there. Back up the middle, off of Pinta. Leck will field, and she'll dive to the bag and get the out. I don't know about that one, JJ. Getting a sweep on the road. Here's a base hit to left field. Heading to the plate is Katie Taylor. It's an RBI single for Taylor Panel. And Tennessee's cut the Auburn lead in half. 2-1 our score now. Look at this swing. Yeah, that's, this is going to be a really big run for Tennessee. I mean, that ball is up, and that's what they were doing. All those balls up yesterday, they were able to drive, and happens again there. And I just want to give credit to McCrary out there in left field. I mean, if you throw that ball, especially off a pitcher like Penta. 2-1. Swing and a miss. How about that off-speed pitch? Penta gets Nugent out in front, and that's strike two. Here in the fourth. Ground ball to short. Peralta stays with it and gets the out. Final out of the inning. Tennessee. See if Amelia Leck can turn on one here. 3-1 offering, and Leck will put this one in play. And what a stop by McKenna Gibson at the third base back. Wow. I'm telling you what. <laughs> Lizenby hits one right back to Carlin Pickens, who gets the out. Swing and a miss, a strikeout for Carlin Pickens. A 1-2-3 inning for the Tennessee right-hander. Four innings done, and Auburn's on top, 2-1. to one. I mentioned it's real tough to have given up two runs off of one hit. On the flip side, you got another strike out there, and Lizenby fires it down there to finish it off. Pinta going for another strikeout here. An 0-2 pitch. Right back to her. Easy put away for Maddie Pinta for the second out. 1-0 pitch. Slow roller to third. Weidra's got it, and her throw to first is in time. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Auburn. We the 0-2 pitch. Hit on the ground to second. Destiny Rodriguez handles it well. It's the first out of the inning. Base runner right now to break it up, break up the one, two, three innings with help. Out to right field, a diving effort in right. What a catch. We've seen several today. And there's a swing and a miss. Third strikeout of the game for who beat who? I mean, yeah. it's there's always some unexpected results. You see Peralta just continuing to have a good defensive day. Yeah, what an effort she's having. So for Tennessee to just continually. Oh, 
on the way. Another 3-2 pitch that misses outside. It's a walk to the Tennessee Lady Vols. We need to make your pitcher's pitch here. The 0-2 pitch. There's a swing and a miss, a big strikeout. Penta is fired up. For Gibson, but just wanted to confirm, so probably not a threat to go anywhere. Wild pitch, Unless ricochets you have back to Penta. Now Gibson is in scoring position. To the top of, or the bottom of the sixth inning. And there's ball four, a walk for Rodriguez to put runners at first and second. First and second, another big pitch coming up here for Penta. Swing and a miss! A massive strikeout for the Auburn right-hander. That was a first for me this weekend from Coach. How about this one hit down the right field line? We're gonna get the Sea Packer take off. How about the stand-up double for Michaela Packer? Two for 18 on the series are the Tigers with runners in scoring position. This ball blasted to right field. Malloy can't get there. Packer being waved to the plate as Peralta will take off towards third. It's a triple for Nalia Peralta. Hey, that you can make up for it. And Peralta just did it right there. I mean, Malloy had a beat on it. And with her in the outfield, anything has a chance. But Packer is tagging from second base. I mean, she was standing there. If Malloy catches that ball, Packer is scoring. Runner at third for the Tigers. On what was the first triple of the season for Nelia Peralta. And there's a swing and a miss. A big strikeout for Carlin Pick. 0-2. Leck hits one to left field. Past the diving west. One run will score. Amelia Leck has a double. Runner in scoring position for Aubrey Lizenby, the batter for Auburn. Talia Martin takes off towards third, and she'll dive in safely. And then Martin was tagged out. Her foot came off the bag. Look at Mariah Penta, Auburn's designated player today. Hits this one on the ground to short, and the throw over is in time for the final out of the inning, but Auburn adds two, two strikes. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Hit down the third baseline, it's a fair ball. It'll be extra bases for Nugent as McCrary fields it in the corner, quickly gets it in, just what Tennessee needed. Three balls and two strikes. The payoff pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Big strikeout for Pinta. Of course, the reigning champs, Oklahoma. Miller hits one deep to right field. That's off the wall. Tresvik fields, throws in quickly oh to my. second, and she's out. What? An outfield assist a in right play. field from Isis Tresvik. What a throw! Holy cow! That may have saved the game for Auburn. I mean, Isis Tresvik. Plays it perfectly, one hop off the wall, and then it fires an absolute dart to second base. Peralta applies the tag. Unbelievable. You want to face the best hitter. Best on best. Yes. Malloy pops one up, shallow right field. Isis Tresvik makes the catch, and Auburn has won. The Auburn Tigers defeat Tennessee by a score of four to one. The nation's longest winning streak is over. Maddie Pinta, all seven innings, and Auburn picks up a big win. And there's head coach Mickey Dean, who as well, Amy, that sixth inning was big for the Auburn Tigers. Huge, added that couple runs. You saw how big it was. Tennessee came out, got some runners on, but Maddie Pinta shut the door. So for Amy Reef, I'm JJ Jackson saying so long from Auburn.